Uh, hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oiz and welcome back to Terraria. In the last episode, we were working on the castle a little bit, um, getting some planning done. I haven't done any building to it, um, not really, but this is what it looks like so far. This is what we're going to have. Um, got a visitor. The uh, traveling salesman decided to uh, show up and um, yeah, basically just show up and hang out up top. Um, for some reason, I don't know. He does what he wants. Um, so today, um, by the way, I want to show off that uh, he did actually have something that I wanted. Um, and I bought three stacks of it. Um, where is he? Hey, you. Uh, he has the dynasty shingles, the blue dynasty shingles, which is what we've been using for our um, for the roofs. So I bought three stacks of them. Um, and a stack is almost a thousand. So, uh, everything else don't really care about too much. Um, not right now anyways. Uh, as I kind of progress through this game and kind of decide, hey, I want more stuff and all that kind of stuff. Um, I might buy that kind of stuff from them, but really I don't care. So, I have the quest fish for today and I didn't get what I wanted. Dang it. Alright, so I have searched through all my chests, and I found all the trophies that I have currently. Uh, and I was looking at these guys and deciding, okay, what are we going to do today? Because today is a farming episode. We're going to go kill some bosses for a while. And I think it's time to kill some of the pre-hard mode bosses. Um, so we have the Eye of Cthulhu, but that's the only one we have um, of the pre-hard mode bosses. So we're going to go after two others today. Um, now, I had been fishing. I uh, actually found a crimson, not crimson, a corrupt mimic, and got a putrid scent. Scent that is basically enemies are less likely to attack you. Um, kind of cool, but not like super useful. Uh, so I'm gonna deposit everything I can somewhere. Hey, there's some ebonkoi in there. I caught a lot of ebonkoi, which is kind of cool. Uh, those are used to make what are the potions? They're like. Um, Damage postage, I believe. I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, quick stack. I had um, evidently used most of the gold. So open our wooden crates. We got some more potions and some more ore. So um, for the time being, I'm just going to throw this stuff out here like so. And we'll throw the ores in here. Cobalt and Admintite. Uh, adamantite so cool the plan for today is uh, we're gonna start out with a bit of a boss fight or let's see which one do we want to go through first let's actually head down and let's kill the guide so I have a whole bunch of gold crowns if you're not familiar with what I would be using the gold crowns for um, it's actually pretty easy uh, you use gold crowns to make the slimy crown, which allows you to summon the uh, king slime. That is one of the trophies we're going to go after today. The other one is, as you can probably tell, the wall of flesh. Uh, we're going to kill the wall of flesh and hopefully um, get the trophy pretty quickly. Uh, the wall of flesh is a little bit more annoying to kill than anything else, uh, just because of the nature of how it's summoned. Uh, you have to kill the guide every time, so I'll make sure I have my armor on and Master Ninja gear. Cool. We're a little bit more powerful now. Alright, so I don't really even, really even need to care, so we'll just throw the guide voodoo doll on nothing. Perfect. Alright. So the, goo the, the, goo the guide dies, and... Honestly, you can just kind of sit, sit here and probably kill him. Um, there we go. <laughs> Easy enough. Don't really even have to do anything. So we got the treasure bag, and I'm just going to clean up the Demonite Brick, because why not? And cool. Um, I had lava stop. Uh, let's teleport out, and I mean, we are on fire, so that's a thing, but we have the treasure bag. 
we get anything good? Not really. Hey, we got the Breaker Blade, which is Final Fantasy VII reference. Uh, I don't know if we've had one of those yet. So, looks like it's time for another chest. Uh, um, uh, actually, we can we can wait. Let's let's go ahead and do one of these. We'll, we'll quick stack wherever we can. All right, so nothing else there. Um, you know, let's get yet another chest. Um, but this time for actually something a little bit better. So another mahogany, rich mahogany chest, which we'll put right here. And we're going to put banners in there as we get them. So everything else we can just throw into a chest. Uh, I promise I will get this taken care of sooner rather than later. Hopefully. It's going to be my attempt. So uh, with that taken care of, we need to head to uh, the corruption. And the actual corruption. Not just um, what the Wall of Flesh kind of started. Uh, that's something we might deal with next episode. Is start getting rid of a lot of this corruption. Because uh, there's a little bit too much of it. Uh, the hollow is pretty well contained. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but we need to kind of get rid of a lot of this corruption. Because it's, it's a little bit annoying. Um, being everywhere. So let's come down one of these. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a demon um, altar. And we're going to craft up some slime crowns. So... I have five of them, and that's why. So, let's teleport back out. And I don't think we have to be anywhere in specific, like anywhere specifically, to fight this guy. Uh, he should also be a breeze. So let's just come over here, and there we go, King Slime. Where is he? Where is the King Slime? Is he this way? Okay, he's right over here. Alright, so this should be relatively easy. And... He's dead. You know, that was so easy. Well, let's do it again. Hey, we got the trophy. We don't even have to do it again, but I want to. So this time, is he over here? Nope. Is he over here? He is. Alright. And he's dead. Cool. So there is at least one of the trophies, and we have some some of the treasure bags. We got a bunch of stuff for that. Cool. Um, let's first of all let's go ahead and quick stack all that, and then we're just gonna try to put everything away that we possibly can. Um, I don't know if we've ever gotten the slimy saddle, but it is a mount for a slime. Kind of cool. Uh, not super useful uh, at this point, but uh, early game, uh, the ninja gear is decently good. Um, that is something we are going to also need to grab from the King Slime, is getting his uh, the full ninja gear. Uh, let's see, that's a banner. There's some banners. Alright, let's... So those guys in there, any other banners we can take? Don't see any. So next chest, there's some banners. We'll throw that stuff in there. Cool. Uh, it all works out. So um, we have the Slime Trophy. Slime King Trophy. And we can go ahead and throw in a bunch of banners. Alright, so the next thing that we need to take care of... Uh, we can put these guys away. Uh, we have Aya Cthulhu, but can we get... Uh, I'm going to have to look through a bunch of chests, aren't I? Uh, can we get the... Uh, Eater of Worlds. That could be another one we could kill pretty quickly. Uh, I just have to remember how to make his... His uh, summoning item. I think you need some rotten chunks. But more than anything, you need the worm teeth which are relatively rare, so I don't think I have all that many. And I have a lot more than I thought. I don't know if we need anything else. I do know that we need to go to the corruption 
to uh, again, once again, go to the uh, the altar to to uh, craft the the item. I don't know if uh, we have everything. We honestly have to wait for the guide. I wasn't expecting to get the trophy so quickly from uh, the King Slime. So yeah, a little bit of uh, lack of planning with that, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. So let's see. If we can get this guy taken care of, then we can just summon um, the worm. We have it new. No. All right, I'm gonna look it up really quickly. Um, worm food terraria. What does it take to craft? Um, so it is literally. Oh, it's vile powder and rotten chunks. Okay, so I need to make vile powder, which I have to remember how to make that. It's Stop attacking me, please. Um, vile power is oh yes, the mushrooms. Vile mushrooms. So, uh, not worm teeth. I think that's used for the other summoning item, which is for um, the destroyer of worlds. Uh, so we just need vile mushrooms, which here's some. Uh, they grow in the corruption randomly. Uh, all mushrooms just kind of grow randomly uh, on whatever uh, like material that they require. So, for example, corrupted mushrooms, vile mushrooms are in the corruption. Uh, the blue mushrooms are in the um, mushroom grass, and normal mushrooms are in normal grass. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So how much vile dust can we make? Can we make it at the altar? No, we're going to need a workbench. And honestly, we're going to come over here. Oh, yeah, we got a bandana. A blindfold. Whatever. So... <sighs> Alright, we don't have enough, evidently. Um, Alright, so, oh cool, we got some vitamins, there's another bandana. Alright, let's just fly out of here, and see if we can't get some more mushrooms. Uh, I probably have more back at the base, it's not that hard to get back over here, so that's not an issue. Um, do I still have that on? Crafting, cool. Oh, it's a place bottle or an alchemy table. Table. So I'm just doing the wrong... Okay. <laughs> Apologies, I don't know everything about the crafting. It's hard to remember everything. So, uh, let's just teleport back home. And we're going to go up to the alchemy because we might get more. And that's above us, so... Let's see... Yes, it works. Um, you can get a bunch of it, so... Uh, you know, out of curiosity, what do you want? Jewelfish. Alright, I caught one of those already. Um, and I actually know where the best place to catch those are, so let's go do that real quick. Uh, it's just gonna be a matter of coming over here. Because uh, one of the best places to catch that is right here. Because uh, there's enough... Wait, no, it's not. Uh, that's not where I caught them. I caught them over here. Alright, so let's uh, take care of this real quick. Literally take seconds. And hopefully the guide will come back. So if we want to uh, summon uh, the Wall of Flesh again, we can. Alright, so we just fall down, and there is a spot down here that is good enough. Uh, right here, actually. And we can just fish right here, and we should get the jewel fish pretty quickly. Armor cave fish as well, so that's nice. Um, 
There we go. So, let's come up here. And we're going to not only turn that in. Didn't get anything that I wanted. Uh, let's go ahead and start quick stacking everything. Uh, I do need to get that worm food back, but uh, it's not that big of an issue. Quick stack everything in there. Wow, we have a lot of crate potions. Alright, so I can put crate potions in there. And... Take the water uh, chest out. That'll work. And then we just come back up here. And worm rotten chunks. There we go. So let's head back to the corruption. And there's the guide. So now he shows up. Uh, we will go ahead and kill um, the worm a couple of times. Uh, because that is not dependent on time of day or anything like that. And we should be able to do it pretty quickly. Um, now the other boss, Skeletron. Uh, Skeletron you would think you can only summon in a new world. Um, because you would think you can only summon him once. Well, that's not true. Uh, much like the guide, he will respawn um, if you kill his like source. So if you kill the clothier, he will respawn. And I think the way, the best way to get um, the clothier to die is through. Um, you need the clothier doll, uh, and it's like the vo it's the same thing. It's a voodoo doll, but you can only get two. All right, that's fine. Um, we'll go up top to summon him. So let's come over here where it's a little bit flatter. And there's the Eater of Worlds. This should be incredibly easy. And... There we go. Eater of Worlds has been defeated. Alright, well, let's do that again. And he's coming from over here. And he's dead again. Alright, so we need to get down here. The only bad thing about having uh, something that I did is this. Alright, let's just get off our mount and we need to just grab all this stuff. Do we have two? Okay, we do have two chests. Get some Evanwood, why not? Alright, perfect. Um, so let's go back home. And... Put everything away that we can. Um, let's see. We'll put stuff in here, why not? It doesn't really matter to me right now. Two treasure bags. More worm scarves. So, with that taken care of, let's go take on the Wall of Flesh one last time, kill the guide again, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I do want to go ahead and eat some more cooked fish. Now, next time we are going to do an event. Um, I think the event that I want to grind and work on is the Old One's Army. Um, we're going to try our hardest to kind of progress through that, get more stuff, and uh, as we get more um, Defender Medals, then we'll be able to get farther and farther and farther until finally we can defeat it. Um, that is the plan. So, yeah, should be should be fun. Um, we are decently powerful again. Um, we're always getting a little bit more powerful every episode that we get new stuff. Um, obviously, because we're at the point in the game where it's just a matter of getting rid of things you need to kill. Um, and like, 
actually defeating all the bosses that you need to defeat. And really the only one we still have to beat um, is Moon Lord. So which way is you going to be coming from? This way. Alright, let's do that and then we'll annihilate you. Because you're easy enough. I didn't mean to break that. Um, please put that back. And got our treasure bag. That's pretty much it. So, um, is there anything cool? Not really. All right. So, let's go head back home. And that is gonna be pretty much it for this episode. So, like I said, next time we are going to work on getting, um, uh, getting rid of the. Uh, doing the old ones event as much as possible just so that we can potentially uh, Get some more stuff uh, Now there are trophies we can get from that the events as well uh, We do have the ogre trophy. There is the dark ma the Yeah, dark magician. I think it's called uh, Yu-Gi-Oh reference and uh, I don't think it's a reference, but there's also then Betsy who we haven't seen so um, Yeah, we will deal with that soon enough and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!